pretty early in the morning and we're leaving Sturgeon Bay, Bay Marine Yacht Harbor. And this was a great stay for us. Really very nice facilities. You do everything through Dakwa. But they're here to help you if you need anything. All right, we are turning around. We came from two bridges that had to be opened down there. And Sam is turning around and we're going to one giant bridge that we don't have to have opened right over there beyond all those sailboats anchored. There's really a lot of great places to stay. If you happen to venture over on the west side of Lake Michigan for your gold loop trip. Hello from the bridge of the Here's To Us. And speaking about bridges, there's a bridge right up there, the Bayview Bridge. And we don't have to have that one open. The two that we came in from, from Green Bay into our uh, marina, we just left Bay Marine had to be open but this one doesn't have to be open for us but you can see it does open for the bigger ships and it opens on request for the big ships it's a distance of about 30 miles today so we're going to be heading down the Sturgeon Bay Canal and then making a turn to starboard and seeing what Lake Michigan has cooked up for us Here's a couple different models uh, to look at waves out there and uh, kind of have a mixed bag this morning and I'm not sure that the models are uh, agreeing with each other but optimistically uh, we'll have nothing more than about two feet out there so it should be good and later today it will actually get uh, pretty windy and we'll have some more severe storms that we're getting in the afternoon. So that's why we're up here at the uh, crack of dawn and heading out to Lake Michigan. First time really for us on the uh, western side of Lake Michigan. So I hope she treats us nicely. Since we left the marina, there have been really nice homes that you can see a few of them there on the side. And then looks like a forest over there. Primo spot for fishermen. More homes on the other side. But right straight out in front of us is looks like a very tight cut that we're headed toward. And yeah, we gave them a little bit wider berth over down a little bit. Sun's coming up. Morning! I didn't, I knew we had to get through a, an area over here, but I didn't realize it was that narrow. It's actually pretty, uh, about, I guess, 150 to 175 feet well, wide at its uh, you know, narrowest point. So, how many? 150? Yeah, about 150, 175 feet, I think. Looks like about 25. Hopefully, it's not too bumpy out here. We'll see what happens. If it, if it's going to be bumpy, it's going to be bumpy after the cut. Here. Yeah, because yeah, that's Lake Michigan up there. Lake Michigan, yeah who's been kind to us some days and not so kind most of the other days. So we're hoping to get into Kiwani early, explore the town a little bit, and uh, also brace for the afternoon of thunderstorms, make sure we're tied down real good. 
because there were some severe ones last night. We, we kind of got between a couple cells, so we didn't get punished too bad, but there were places where uh, it was pretty intense. I think the controlling depth through here is at least 25 feet, and I'm showing about 27 feet right now. It's like a place over there for maybe uh, ships to go off to the side and tie up. I don't know. It looks so calm and nice in here. There it is up ahead. Yep, Lake Michigan. Definitely looks like the water's a little different, doesn't it? Uh, yes, <laughs> it does. <laughs> I want it to stay like this all day. But we're not even out there yet. We're getting at the end of this cut and we both got the binoculars out to look ahead to see what how Lake Michigan is going to treat us today. And it doesn't look so bad. Famous last words, right? Is that a fog bank up there? Oh, don't even start with the fog. Let's say those are clouds. Really, really low clouds. Well, the Coast Guard has got some pretty nice real estate. That wouldn't be bad duty, would it? Not bad at all. Then you've got to work on Lake Michigan, so I would give them very nice quarters to you. Well, there's your swells. It doesn't seem bad at all. It does look foggy out there though in front of us. Yeah. Well, we've seen worse, but it's still not fun. Some of the swells uh, hit us and at least they're in front of us, which makes for a nicer time than hitting from the side. That's just a nauseating time. But uh, what do you think? Three hours on this? Well, we have about two hours to go, and that was my plan. Was, hey, we could probably take about two and a half hours of this uh, rather than going all the way to Manitowoc. We'll, uh, duck into Kiwani and uh, enjoy the day before the thunderstorms come and then tomorrow we'll uh, hopefully have better sea conditions or lake conditions tomorrow it feels we're like have the to sea go to uh, Manitowoc yeah it feels like the sea are you done with the foghorn are you still got a foghorn no, I think we're gonna dispense with it I got pretty good visibility out there so we're good Is that a joke? Look at the fog. <laughs> you got good another. visibility. That's more like it. So there are the days that you kind of wish you would have stayed in port. This is one of them is not getting any better. Well, we have about 10 miles to go and uh, we picked a speed try to minimize the rolliness here. Luckily the swells are right on the bow and uh, they're a good four feet out there now. So one of the good things is, is you know, we kind of seen what it is to be in four feet and how the boat behaves. Kind of builds your confidence a little bit, but in retrospect, probably should have stayed in port today and maybe hung out, but that's the way it goes. Sometimes you make less than good decisions. Well, it's still really foggy. Um, we are going in between these, the lighthouse there, aren't we? Yeah. And that marker. And I, you know, I thought the fog would have been burnt off by now but it's still really foggy you can barely see the land on the side having a hard time seeing that lighthouse as well 
so hopefully when we get in here it'll be calm like that last <clears throat> like the cut we went through before we got out here in this craziness so I can get out and put the fenders down and get the lines ready the marina's about what a mile to go yeah. so I do have some time look at all those birds around they look like vultures on the top of that. <clears throat> I do remember going on Lake Michigan on the east side last time, the beautiful lighthouses that they have. Well, I don't care how much experience you have, things don't always go as planned. And today is the apps for the Lake of Michigan were off. I should have multiplied them by two, like I normally do, and we probably would have still been in Sturgeon Bay, which would have been fine with me. Uh, it, we've been in worse, but the bigger experience thing is for me is, I'm beating myself up about this because as a pilot during disorientation, the first thing you do and the first thing I taught my students was to trust your instruments and coming in to the inlet here there was a fog bank and I let my eyes take over as I started to gain visibility and then we went back in the fog and I should have stayed on the magenta line that I had planned and I caught it but it really it woke me up and said you know what trust your instruments so anyways we're glad we're here we're gonna sort things out and see if we're gonna stay one or two nights and uh, go have breakfast because it's still before noon see you next time on here's to us